All right, I've complained enough about the fact that the old cupolas aren't fixable, so in today's video, it's time to start finishing building the new ones. And this is a tricky build, so I built one as a prototype, and then I'm gonna assembly line through building the other three. So we've already finished building the louvers and the body to hold the louvers. Now we need to build the roof and the spires. Structurally, this is kind of hokey. Uh, after some trial and error, I decided to start building the spires and an internal stand for mounting them. So the spires are plywood, they're six foot tall with some internal structure to help affix them onto the stands. Before mounting them, I need to waterproof them though, and I am once again using the Grace Ice and Water Shield, the most expensive and, as far as I can tell, effective building wrap ever produced. So I pre-made strips of that for each side of each spire. This stuff gets very sticky and hard to work with if it's hot. Just picture a giant black fruit roll-up type product that will happily remove one's eyebrows if you get stuck to that. Yeah, I have proof of this. This is what happens when you get it stuck to itself. Well, actually, I've already unstuck it, but in the process, I had to kneel on it. Yeah, that sucks. Hair is all coming off. Oh yeah, that was awesome. So it took a minute to get my technique down. Then I was in assembly line mode, and I was left with these three beautiful phalli, phallusy, uh, whatever, uh, they're spires sitting in my driveway. All right, let's do this now. Get the cupola bases all uncovered, which is just been waiting for me to finish the spires. Get the stands mounted on there. I'm just gonna use a ton of fasteners for this because, you know, I don't want these things ever coming off in my lifetime. For a second, I thought it wasn't gonna fit. I thought I might have cut it too short. That would have been a disaster. I get the stands all screwed on, and then it's time for putting on the spires. Two, three. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I forgot what it feels like to be up here. And by that I mean unsafe. So I got one all finished, and then after that, it was basically just assembly line mode from here on out. So after the hard part was done with the structure, it was easy to get the decking on there and add new Grace Ice and Water Shield to the outside. Then there's just one more thing I had to finish. You're going to hide something inside. So when my dipshit offspring in 100 years sells my barn for wood and I'm going out of focus, when that occurs and they take my cupolas apart, they're gonna find something goofy. I'm gonna come up with some better stuff for the other three. This one I'm just grabbing whatever we got, which happens to be an empty box of Bill's Donuts. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if we can get this on camera. I should really have help right now. I'm gonna hold it with my head as we deposit the box of Bill's Donuts inside the cupola. Well, there you have it. There's four 15 foot tall, 900 pound cupolas sitting in my driveway. Nice, right? So anyway, if you've missed any part of this series, please click right over here to see the entire playlist on building the cupolas. Also, if you could please support our efforts on rehabbing the barn, click right here on my charming visage to subscribe to the channel. So that's all we got for today, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.